welcome back to the realm one popular opinions today i'm going to be doing a tag that i for some reason only now found out about even though i am subscribed to her but to be fair i wasn't subscribed to her a year ago and that is the dark academia book tag by emmy and this other girl whose name i don't know because i'm only subscribed to emmy but i will link link the video down below in any case i thought this was fun because the questions weren't that recommendation oriented more aesthetic oriented and I want to do a tag where I get to talk about something related to books but not having to think up like a dozen recommendations again <laughs> I put on this like poncho kind of style it's really thick wool because I don't really have any dark academia clothing I put on the headband thing but doesn't look that good so I think for the next one I will do like a hood or something but I have the questions here so let's just go through them and I'm not sure I will write them out in the description I might just copy it from hers so you can do it yourself and again I tag anyone who wants to do it because I hate I hate singling people out it just kind of feels mean and let's good just go through the questions I'm gonna try and do them quickly quickly and not just ramble about each one Question one, what's your favorite academia or dark book and movie? For book, I'm going to have to say Jane Eyre. <laughs> I just finished reading it and I wouldn't say it's dark academia per se because it doesn't take place at a university really, but it has to do with a lot of learning and knowledge because Jane Eyre as a governess teaches Adele and she also becomes a teacher later on and <laughs> the dark vibe is really, really there with the mystery surrounding the Thornfield and with the Moors and just the mist and everything. I would really call this dark academia, but not in the sense of academia, more like <laughs> dark vibes and learning and a thirst for knowledge in a non-academic setting. Now, as for movie, I have to say Dead Poets Society because it is my favorite of all time and I understand it is kind of the default when it comes to dark academia movies but there's a reason why it's the default it is my favorite I rewatched it like a couple days ago I will never fail to cry at the end of that movie but it is the blueprint and it is <laughs> the one and the only example I can give for this really next question is which dead poet would you like to have a drink with now in line with Dead Poets Society, I thought that meant which of the Dead Poets characters would you like to have a drink with? And I had my answer like ready for that one. It's Charlie Dalton, by the way. He, Dalton, he's my favorite. But <laughs> that's not what the question was about. It's which Dead Poet. I don't think I would really like to like particularly talk to a, a poet because I don't know anything about their lives. And I don't, I can't say that I care, but Frost, Robert Frost is my favorite poet, so I guess I would like to talk to talk to him about nature if I could because his imagery is absolutely wonderful. So, I guess Robert Frost. Question 3, what is your favorite painting and or sculpture? Now, I have nothing <laughs> written down for sculpture because sculpture everything related to sculptures was the worst part of like what do you even call that art history? art history in high school I do not want to recall that but painting I do not know if this counts as painting I think it doesn't but I would my first thought was the Sistine Chapel like I that whole thing was just amazing honestly but if I have to actually pick a painting then I would say Starry Night by Van Gogh next question I got rid of the headband thing because <laughs> bold spot like let's not let's not actually go there but next question is what is your favorite architectural marvel and now for this one I didn't have a lot because again our history was architecture sculptures and paintings and I hated everything but paintings but I have to say the Duomo Il Duomo however you say it I don't know Italian but the like massive church in Florence I went to Italy or more specifically Tuscany two years ago and I have to say that was some impressive architecture because I would love to go back and really see it again it was way too expensive to look at from the inside I did not have that kind of money but it was really really pretty 
Next question. What Shakespeare play would you want to be the lead in? I hate acting. I would never. <laughs> I cannot do it. I don't want to do it. I was good at it once, but I never want to do it again. I would have to say Hamlet. <laughs> I Technically, I wouldn't want to be part of any Shakespeare play because for obvious reasons, but Hamlet, because I would just love to take part in all the absurdity of it. <laughs> like I understand it's supposed to be a tragedy, but I remember it just being so funny. And I related to Hamlet so much because he was so sarcastic and just sassy. And I would like, like to witness that, not really take part in Hamlet, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, question, sorry if I'm like uhing a lot, that's because I'm looking for the questions there, like in <laughs> this kind of format, but how many languages do you speak and which language would you most like to learn? Now, this is a bit complicated because if you're anyone from Europe or anywhere else, I mean, I don't know. I'm just referencing Europe because obviously I live here is the most familiar to me. You, if you're not from like the UK or any of the main countries, you are required to take way too many foreign languages in school, like from elementary all the way up to high school and even university, as I can now see but i was always forced to have at least two foreign languages alongside my own which is croatian and i took two extras in high school one was forced upon me and one was like an elective but anyway i took german for 12 years still don't know shit but i would say i'm all right at it i would just need a reminder now because it's been two years since high school so English, German, obviously, because English is a foreign language for me. I took Russian for two years. That was the elective, although I would say Russian is the language that I would love to know. Actually, no. I will have to <laughs> put in some effort or like go to a course for that. I took Russian for two years in high school. I wish I had more time for it. And I was forced, forced into Latin also for two years in high school hated that but I do get to boast in dark academia and say that I took Latin so that's what four foreign languages including my own but do I speak them no what is your favorite quote from poetry prose or plays I wrote that one down I have way too many but I took one from Tolkien because why did I say it like that? I took one from Tolkien because I loved that quote in the movie, in the book, in any context. And that is, if more of us valued food and cheer and song above hoarded gold, it would be a merrier world. Or the addition from the <laughs> movie that Richard Armitage says. That kind of quote, because I actually love it. Because in Tolkien's books, the message is essentially always to prefer simpler things and nature and little things that make you happy over gold and wealth and everything that comes along with it so i have to kind of say that that one is my favorite now next question which fictional character's death is your ideal way to go <laughs> i thought about this one for a while because generally everything i read and watch the characters don't really go out peacefully which would be the ideal like fall asleep and never wake up again so I went with Yoda. Like, Yoda's death scene in Return of the Jedi was the absolute ideal. I would love to <laughs> love to go out that way. If it was possible to also disappear and connect with the Force, I would love that. But considering that it's maybe not, I can't guarantee it, I would say Yoda. Next up, which is question nine. What university college would you most like to attend? I mean, obviously, the University of Edinburgh, Scotland, or any university in Scotland, to be fair, because I want to live there like yesterday. But considering that that is not an option, and I am already in university in my own country, and I don't plan to even think about moving until I'm done with it, then to hell with that question. <laughs> but ideally, I guess. Uh, what is your murder weapon or murder method of choice? <laughs> I always say poison, like in a very cool way in fiction, I would say like throwing daggers. That's always been a dream of mine. But poison is so versatile and so clever. I always appreciate people who can use poison 
correctly in fiction because there are very untraceable poisons and poisons with more pain, less pain, put you to sleep before you die, like poison. I feel like it's such a sophisticated way to kill people. Anyway, let's move on. What mythology would you most like to be a part of? I didn't have to think about this one a lot. I like a lot of mythologies like Egyptian and Greek. I love but it has to be Norse mythology. I don't know why. I mean, I put like a dash when I answered this question. Norse or Celtic? But they're both like in the North. So you get the point of what I mean. I'm not even sure if Celtic is a mythology. Is it like a mythology with with its own gods or anything? Like when I say Celtic, I mean the vibes of King Arthur and the Druids and like Stonehenge. So I'm not sure if that's a mythology. If that's a mythology, then Celtic. If Celtic, pagan, witchcraft, outlander, you know what I mean. If that's not a mythology, then definitely Nordic or Norse mythology. If you had to do a PhD, what would you choose to do it on? I would never do a PhD. I <laughs> despise studying and essays, like a lot. So I would never do a PhD. I'm done after five years, I am leaving. But if I had to, I... <laughs> I wish there was like a course in specifically fantasy literature, then I would do that. Considering that it doesn't exist, probably I would, I would just not do a PhD. Next question, I think we're almost done. Yeah, the hell we are. It's like a lot more questions. <laughs> but then we're going to do the rapid fire questions, which is going to be interesting. Anyway, which fictional character would you die for? That's the last question before rapid fire. Which fictional character would you, would you die for? Now, Technically, none, because I wouldn't ever die for anyone. <laughs> Do without what you will, but I wouldn't. But I get what they mean, like, for every character that you really love, you say, like, I would die for them. <laughs> it's kind of difficult for me because for a lot of them, every time I say I would die for them, I never really mean it. So I know this question wasn't serious. Why am I thinking about it so much? Too many, too many to count. But if I had to say like from each category, like I have four favorites of all time, like f fictional men to be fair, not characters, but it kind of correlates because I would die for them. So I'm gonna say like one for each category, the four that are my favorites. So in all of animation and anime, Dazai. In books, Maven <laughs> from Red Queen. In movies and TV shows, Loki, and in other <laughs> in other formats, but in this sense, a game, Astraeus from Lovestruck. Those are my four of all time, and in the sense of this tag, I would die for them. So, <laughs> we are prepared for rapid fire. Now, let's go. This is gonna be 10 questions. Now, I am a really, really decisive person in general in life. I always know which I prefer and I don't, like I wouldn't say I don't think about it too much because like I, through my brain it all, it, I go through the pros and cons just very quickly. Like in contrast to a lot of my friends, I literally always know which I would pick. So let's see how this goes. Rapid fire questions, there's 10, let's go. Leather bound or cloth bound books? Cloth bound immediately. Dog earring or highlighting pages? Which one does less damage? Dog earring. <laughs> Neither, but dog earring. Sculptures or paintings? I already said that. Paintings. Piano or violin? I wouldn't want to play either, but violin. It gets more emotions out of me in movies. Films or theater? Films immediately. I love the cinematography. Poetry or prose? Prose. Definitely prose because I love poetry for what it is but prose museums or bookshops bookshops smell of books or smell of coffee tea books immediately fountain pen or typewriter i'm gonna get a typewriter by the way and see if it works but fountain pen i love my fountain pen so much new or used books used books this wasn't as difficult as i thought it would be but yeah I hope that was rapid fire enough. I think it was, but I just felt like I had to explain a couple. That was it for the tag. I hope you had fun. 
with me. I really thought it looked like something I wanted to do. It seems like a very fun tag, so congrats to you two girls for creating it. It's very cool. And I don't have to come up with recommendations, which is honestly such a, such a pain in the ass sometimes. But anyone who's a booktuber or likes the aesthetic of Dark Academia, you can do it. I tag you. Have fun with it. And I will see you in my next video.